Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Ellen Arianis, TEA, and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. Happy Mask Monday everyone. It's been an interesting masking session because the one that you've seen in my thumbnail is this Mi Lao Avocado Mask smoothing essential fatty acids and vitamins of the avocado, which is characterized by its buttery, soft, and yellow flesh, gives softness to your dry skin. And it is a very, very thin and very delicate mask. That's not the one I started off the day with. And it does come with like one side is this like plasticky thing. I don't mind those. I don't mind those at all. However, the one that I started the day off with and tried to put on was this Mond M O N D uh, hyphen sub Calendula hydrogel face mask petal um, or Calendula petal and it had little speckles of the petal on it which I thought was really cool. However, it came with a mesh on the front, it came with the mesh on the back, and it proceeded to rip smithereens when I tried to put it on. I'm still gonna run this across like my arms and legs <laughs> after I'm done here, but uh, both of these were Pinch Me masks that I got as freebie samples from Pinch Me. Thank you, Pinch Me. But that other one is definitely going to get a negative because it doesn't do you any good if it rips to smithereens just by like trying to put it on. And this was a little bit more sturdy. Um, that one did smell nice. I thought it was really cool that it had little teeny bits of petals in it, but again, if it rips to shreds and I can't use it, it doesn't do me any good. I don't get the benefits on my skin. This is very nice. Doesn't smell like avocado. It's sort of a nondescript, you know, gel, basically. Um, so it's, it's pretty good and I like it. Like I said, it's so delicate. You can still see, like, you know, the blush of my cheeks, etc., underneath of it. Anyway, so those were the pinch me items. I also have in front of me a bottle of water and I am trying another pinch me item. Um, I had previously tried their ultimate six essential electrolytes Ultima replenishing in a cranberry Cosmo. And that was, I think, part of my empties this past month. So I'm trying the strawberry margarita. I'm not gonna recommend this brand, Ultima, U-L-T-I-M-A replenisher with six essential electrolytes because all I taste is slightly strawberry flavored salt. That was what the same problem was with this, slightly cranberry flavored salt. So the electrolytes in it basically means sodium to lock in the moisture and keep it back in you when you're trying to rehydrate. But the problem is it tastes too much like salt. I'm very salt sensitive. In fact, in most of my cooking, if I use salt at all, it is Morton's 50-50 salt or Morton's light. It's 50% potassium and 50% sodium. So I use stuff that's lower in sodium anyway. So there's that. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is actually a Q&A. Now this was, the questions were originally by Erica Conger, and I will have her link down below. I believe she tagged Kimmy from Hanging Out with Kim, who I believe might have tagged Kim from Miglia from Kim's A Little of a Lot. Now neither one of them I don't think tagged me, but I thought I spoke to them both of them about it. Neither one of them had saved the questions. So then I went back to Erica to get the questions emailed to me. So thank you ladies, one and all. Um, I may not have been specifically tagged, but I know that there was discussion and I love that. So here we are. Again, this is a Q&A by Erica Conger and it's about love and hate. So from the following list, name one you love and one you hate. So name a movie. I love Star Wars. I probably have seen it, oh, I don't know, 500 times? <laughs> maybe, maybe more, maybe 1,000, honestly, since it came out. Um, I was at the perfect age when it came out, and uh, I rewatch it probably at least once a year. Um, and and it, it's most of my deepest friendships and longest friendships have either been sparked because of my love of Star Trek or Star Wars. And I still watch uh, the new uh, live-action 
uh, series as they come out on Netflix, whether it's the current one, Acolyte, or uh, Obi-Wan, or The Mandalorian, etc., etc., etc. Name a movie I hate. Gosh, I can't pinpoint one specific thing, but I really don't like Talking Heads. Um, let us see, what is it called? Uh, Stop Making Sense, I think it was. And it was back in the 80s, and I just, those kind, type of concert videos I just wasn't into, um, and they're not my favorite band. I, I like some of their singles, but that one was just like, ugh, God, ugh. anyway. Um, name a song I love, and name a song I hate. Song I love. I love so many of them right now. Um, I have definitely been on a Black Eyed uh, key, uh, Peas kick. Um, I just can't think of anything right now. Wow, I did not prepare for this. So sorry. Um, but yeah, there, there's just some fun ones. They're, they're just fun ones, and I, I just can't think of a name of, of one offhand. Name a song you hate. Um, and I'm going to get this wrong. Um, oh my gosh, I should have prepared. Tom Tom Club. What are you going to do when you get out of jail? I'm going to have some fun. What do you consider fun? Fun. Natural fun. Oh my god, how just completely brainless is that song. Um, there was another one by Edie Brickell as well that was just absolutely brainless and vapid. So those are the type of songs that really just bug the crud out of me. And I would say I hate them. Um, your favorite, uh, your musical group that you love and a group, musical group that you hate. I love Depeche Mode. Um, I don't think I've ever heard a bad song from Depeche Mode. And I think one of the guys that's in Depeche Mode actually lives here in Santa Barbara, but I'm not sure which one it is. A group that I hate, ACDC. ACDC with a passion. Absolutely despise everything they've done, the look of them, the whole outfits, everything. I hate them. Oh, well, if we have to do an individual artist, it would be Lady Gaga, too. Hate her face. Hate her acting. Hate her voice. Um, fruit that I love and fruit that I hate. Um, let's see. I love white grapes. I really, really do. As for fruit that I hate, um, I think I've tried passion fruit and that just looks like somebody threw up in a, threw up in a fruit bowl. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, vegetable I love and vegetable I hate. Vegetable I love, broccoli. I, there's the usual corn and potatoes, carrots, that sort of thing, but I love broccoli. I could make a meal out of one pound of steamed broccoli with some uh, butter and parmesan on top of it. Um, vegetable that I hate, um, eggplant. Both my guy and I both detest eggplant. It's just slimy. It's very pretty color. Aubergine is a lovely color. We wouldn't mind having a car in that color. But eating it, on the other hand, is just flesh-colored plum balls. Um, vegetable, or ice cream that I love, and ice cream that I hate. Um, I really love the old thrifties brand, uh, vanilla with chocolate chips, because they weren't chips, they were flakes, and so they just melted so easily on your tongue. As far as ice cream I hate, there is a brand that touts itself as 360 or 380 calories for an entire pint, and it is just not ice cream. Whatever it is, I can't remember the name of it, I've tried three different flavors of that, and all of them were disgusting. Um, the mouthfeel was just wrong. The flavor was just wrong. <laughs> The consistency was just wrong, and I can't even think of what its name was. I think it starts with a T. But they tout themselves as having only 350, 380 calories for an entire pint. A color you love and a color you hate. I love pink. <laughs> she might have been able to tell. Um, that is my favorite color, and I don't like baby pink. Uh, baby pink is rage-inducing for me, um, but I do like the darker, stronger, bolder pinks. Your fuchsias and your, um, let's see, uh, hot pinks and um, those type of colors. I the, love that color I hate. Peach. Absolutely detest peach. I don't have anything in that color, clothing-wise. Um, I don't have even nail polish 
in that color and I think peach fuzz is the color of the year um, but yeah that's just don't it doesn't go with my pale and pink uh, complexion either um, I could pull off oranges but for some reason peach mm -mm, just doesn't look right favorite book uh, book I love book I hate book I love is little women that was one of the first ones that I fell in love with my older sister had a specifically for teens hardback book and they were more square than rectangular back in the day so they must have come from some sort of a book club or something but little women just the camaraderie of it all the um, sort of romanticized era even though that there was a a, a war on a war between I think the states um, that uh, there was just something about it and and I and I love almost every single version of of the movies that have come out over time. Um, let's see, a book I hate. I am really not fond of Orwell's 1984. Uh, in a world of dystopias, I would ha rather have Aldous Huxley's A Brave New World. Just give me the damn drugs. Make me happy. Um, versus the Big Brother is watching. So I gotta say, I really do not like 1984. Um, candy I love, candy I hate. Um, if I had to choose anything, um, I still love Hershey's chocolate. Whether it uh, is in bar form or in kisses form, I do love just Hershey's chocolate. Now I'm sure those overseas hearing me are probably going, that's one of the worst tasting chocolates ever, but not to us Americans. Hershey, Pennsylvania is just smells like sweetness and light. Um, <laughs> candy, I hate licorice, black licorice. I hate the taste of it. I hate the chew of it. I hate the look of it. It just looks like moldy candy. Same thing with black beans. I don't like black beans either. Um, let's see. Favorite dessert or dessert I love and a dessert I hate. Dessert I love. Now there's my usual birthday cake, which is uh, German chocolate with coconut pecan frosting. That's an absolute love. Um, but lately, I've definitely been getting into the Toll House sandwich cookies, the ones that come individually package that you get at like 7-Eleven or something versus the one that come in a six pack in the grocery store because those are too small and the ratio to uh, chocolate chip cookie and ice cream is just not right and they they don't hold together the same way uh, let's see dessert I hate um, anything that you mix cool whip with I, I, I don't like cream, I don't like whipped cream, and I don't like cool whip so if you've mixed cool whip into something I'm probably not going to eat it now, this next part is, say whether you love or hate each one. Public speaking. I'm going to say I hate it. I don't think I'm very good at it, despite the fact I'm making a video. I'm in a room by myself, so. <laughs> um, but I do have a tendency to do um, um, and do a deer, deer in a headlight look if I have to do public speaking. Thank goodness for my job, I don't really have to do that. Flying in a plane. Haven't done that in well over 20 years, possibly. Uh, no, longer. Longer. So, yeah, probably half my lifetime ago was the last time I took any sort of flight uh, trip. And I might have been 22, and I'm hurtling towards 60 now. So somewhere, yeah, more than half my lifetime ago. Um, I don't like it. I don't like that I had to do it alone. I don't like the turbulence. I don't like taking off, and I don't like landing. Once I'm in the air, I'm fine. <laughs> But taking off and landing, especially by myself, it's a terrifying thing. Uh, love or hate running in a marathon? Absolutely hate it. Do I look like I run a marathon? Absolutely not. I have been in a walk-a-thon, a walking marathon, for the Heart uh, and Stroke Association, and I actually uh, won a, a prize. I was like the last one to finish, but I got the most um, uh, donations, uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, watching a horror movie, absolutely hate. My late husband was very much enamored of horror movies, especially Japanese horror, and there was like, I think, a horror fest of, you know, X amount, a dozen or two dozen of the worst horror flicks for the entire year, and he loved going to see those, getting the DVDs, watching them again. Um, and once he passed away, I got rid of every horror film in my collection, pretty much. Uh, do you love or hate the sound of your own voice? 
Well, if I say I love it, then <laughs> that's rather conceited, don't you think? Um, but I don't hate the sound of my own voice. Um, here, I'm talking to you. I can hear myself. I'm fine with it. I think I have a pretty good voice. I've actually had male suppliers, because I'm a buyer at heart, um, actually say that I have a, a very nice voice. Um, but that was probably 20, 30 years ago, too. <laughs> um, love or hate shopping? Oh, I love it. I am a buyer by profession, so I may be buying um, medical go uh, goods for a surgery center and taking over the contracting for nuclear medicine and radiology and uh, a few other, uh, oh, and nuclear medicine. Uh, but um, I'm a consummate shopper. I mean, Timu alone, I've probably had over five to six hundred items that I bought from Timu alone. I bought from which.com before that. I buy from Amazon all the time, so I am definitely a love of shopping. Cleaning the house. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't think I'm particularly good at that, too. I mean, it's, it's decent enough, but I'm not going to be one of those people that has an absolutely pristine house. I don't have the health to keep it that way, and I do have a partner now that helps me uh, keep it up pretty well, but we're both okay with being lived in. Um, love or hate traveling? I love the idea of it, but being a disabled person, I'm in the area that I'm in with my physical disabilities, um, I, I find it a challenge. Um, that's why I, I look forward to and and uh, applaud uh, Mr. and Mrs. Handicapped Traveler. I'll have the Handicapped Traveler channel linked down below because they make everything possible. They are uh, make it handy capable and I, and I struggle with that I really do I know that there are people with worse disabilities than what I have but um, I'm also a shy person I live with an extrovert so we're hoping at some point in time if we ever get a car and get to have enough money to, to go on vacation that we'll we'll test that theory to see um, if I'm good with traveling or not Talking on the phone. I do it for a living. I, I love talking on the phone. <laughs> I've probably annoyed some of the people over on Instagram because I keep leaving voice clips. Same thing on Messenger. I'll leave voice clips rather than have to type it all out. I do enough typing at work. I do enough talking at work, but my mother said I learned to talk early by the time I was nine months old. Um, definitely by a year I had dozens of words in my vocabulary stringing full sentences together and I haven't really shut up since. Uh, kissing in public. I don't mind whether it's me or anyone else, a smooch in public. When you start opening mouth and inserting tongue, that's when you need to get a room. room. There, there are certain proprieties that I think should be kept, and that, that is a more intimate one that I think should stay intimate and, and personal and private. So that would be, I hate kissing, public kissing. So I guess that's it. I think I got all of them. So again, I will have Erica Conger list down below because those were her questions. I'm also going to have Kimmy and Kim link down below because I know I talked to them about this Q&A, but I don't think either one actually linked me. And I'm going to have the handicapped travelers link down below because they make me want to be more handy capable than I feel that I am right now. So that was it. Um, Oh, I'll probably have Pinch Me link down below, too, if you like freebies and uh, reviewing products. This is it. This one's going to get You Suck, and this one's going to get I Like You. And then the uh, drink ones are, like, icky now, so those are neg negatory on those, too. So that was it, everybody. Thank you so much for visiting with me today. We just came off of a patriotic holiday, so I still have my little uh, bobblehead headband in, uh, in place. So, um, yay! Please take good care of yourselves, take good care of each other, and I'll see you around the net.